the shower and I got some dirty dishes to do. Do you know I actually didn't do dishes yesterday for like the first time ever? I don't know, we just, that's just all the dishes we had for the day. We went out uh, to McDonald's for lunch and then uh, with her er, uh, teething, she's been eating a lot of pouches, which then he wants to and I don't know, we just didn't make a lot of dishes and Jeff grilled last night. So, um, yep, I'm just gonna hustle and do some dishes and some laundry because I didn't do either yesterday. And then, um, gotta edit and I just want to get out of the house. I, did I go, yeah, I went to McDonald's, I guess, but that's all I did yesterday. So it's beautiful, I want to take advantage, so I want to figure out something to do. We did go try the park here in, like, the area I live in. It's a little neighborhood. They have a park right at the end of our street. Um, but I've never taken the babies to it because it's kind of like a bigger kids park. There's not really much that they can do. Or actually there wasn't anything they could do. And um, so, but I took the girl that I was watching yesterday to it because she's six. And so she was able to play on it and stuff. But we didn't play too long because... Um, I let the babies wonder about, and Tristan's new thing is, like, with wood chips, he wants to put it in his mouth or he sits there and digs through them, um, which I don't want him to get a splinter, and he just makes a big old mess. And then they try to put everything in their mouth, and at this park, there were cigarette butts and, um, like, the little water bottle bottle caps. So he was picking those up, and then while I was trying to get him to quit doing that and putting bark in his mouth, um... Sydney picked up a cigarette butt and put that in her mouth. Ugh. So gross. So, ugh, that was so nasty. So now they have both put cigarette butts in their mouth because Tristan did it, oh, when I was going to meet that one mom at Chuck E. Cheese that one day and it wasn't open and she wasn't there and we were, like, in the parking lot and I was grabbing Sydney and Tristan picked up a cigarette butt. But I think he didn't put it in his mouth. I think it was in his hand and then... I took it right out, but she actually put it in her mouth, so that's so gross. Why? First of all, whatever. You want to smoke, go for it, but don't smoke in a park. You know the kids are playing. It's a park. That's what it's for. So one, don't smoke in a park. Two, if you are going to smoke, smoke far away from the park, and then come on, like, what? I would just stick with number one. Don't smoke in a park. Then we wouldn't have to worry about cigarette butts being on the ground. It's so gross. And all the trash, I don't know. I'm sure it's people, every time I've seen people at the park, it's like teenagers and older kids. Um, so I'm sure, you know, they're just careless and don't give a crap and throw everything down on the ground. And then there's a house right next to it. And, of course, like the guy was smoking outside of the house, which, I mean, you can't stop that because that's their house. But anyways, long story and rant uh, over cigarettes. It's so funny. I just got done doing the dishes and uh, there were a few, like, dirty ones already in the dishwasher. Um, and I can totally tell when Jeff does dishes because he, like, rinses them or not even rinses them, I guess it depends, and he puts them in the dishwasher, so you can see that there's still food on them, and I don't know about you guys, but like my mom taught me that there's not a little man in the dishwasher, so you wash the dishes to wash the dishes, right? You use hot water, soap, a sponge, scrub them all clean, you're basically washing them by hand, and then you put them in the dishwasher to basically just like make sure all the cooties are off and like sanitize them good, right? You, you with me? You agree? Thumbs up if you agree. So we decided to get out of the house and we are headed to Target. Check it out. Using our new snack bags. We put little nummies in and we got happy babies. She was pulling the hissy fit, but we got around that with giving some snacks. So now we're just done. I had to get these are like their favorite snack right now. And they don't carry them at Walmart. So I got a blueberry and a strawberry that they absolutely love. And then I'm thinking about trying out, I saw this ad on um, on Facebook on Munchkins. It's the Miracle 360 Cup, so might try it. So we went to the five below dollar store next to Target just because I like to see what they have. And um, check it out. We got, a we got a replacement Patrick. And we got to see her own SpongeBob. How crazy is that? And uh, they were $1.79, so they were 11 cents cheaper. And check out what else we got. I'm excited. It fits Bob really good. It's a SpongeBob hat. 
and gloves, although the gloves are, they don't have anything cool on it, but the hat itself, I mean, how adorable, and it was only five bucks for that set, so he's set, and then I think Sydney will fit in all, like, the knitted hats still that my sister made, so we're going to go to Red Robin and have some lunch. Do you see how this girl is sitting in her stroller? She's got her leg up over the thingy. She's just chillaxing, eating her Spongebob. I don't know why I like, they like to eat paper. Uh. Yeah, who's that? Is that Patrick? That's the one you lost in Walmart, dude. Hi, what are you doing? You wanna eat? Yeah. Hey baby, are you coloring? Are you gonna make pretties? Do you want to try? Here, go like this. Did you take a bite out of the crayon? I like that. Did you drop your box? Here, here, go ahead. I'll hold the paper. Go ahead. Here, I'll hold the paper. Good job, buddy. You're doing good, sissy. Are you coloring? Good job. We have some happy babies eating some lunch. Are you happy? Is that num num? Num num. Always wanting to share. Thank you. Baby's got a balloon from Red Robin. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I just ran and caught his balloon. Yes. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Your mommy's good. We just had a Super delicious lunch at Red Robin. So much easier than when I took him to McDonald's yesterday. Boy, that was hard. And people here are super nice and helpful. And I got a really nice compliment from an older lady that she said that I was doing a really good job with them. And I said, thanks. And she said, no, really, you are. It's not easy and you're doing a great job. Thank you, lady. Much appreciated and needed. Look, I got boobs. There's two of them. Oh, one just popped. <laughs> that looks like a pregnant belly. Look at <laughs> Go, Cece, go! Go, Cece, go! Slow down, big boy. You see how she walks? <laughs> Do they call that bow-legged? Like how she's walking or is it she walks bow-legged? Yeah. I don't know. She's just, I don't think she's walking bow-legged. Okay. It's just because she's learning, right? Yeah. I, that's, what I, that's what I think. Oops. Not professional. <laughs> I know, but I just, she kind of walks funny. I don't remember Bubby walking like that. So I was like, is she our bow-legged baby? Thank you. You want me to do it? <gasps> you better not poop in the tub tonight, dude. That's two toots. Is that warning that you're going to take a doopy? Pretty nasty. She took a poop again for the third time this week. Six o'clock, it's her new poop time. Say good night, my furry friends. Good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Bye.